Hey, good Sunday morning, everybody. Red Sox collector Dan McGraw here. Uh, making a quick mail day video, but I want to share something that thankfully turned out okay that could have been really bad for me yesterday. Um, I was actually out delivering mail yesterday, and that's why I'm a little disheveled this morning. Um, I was out delivering mail yesterday on a rural route, and I was driving up one of the major... Um, major city roads here in Lewiston, and I was um, in the mail truck, and I was at the town line where I had to turn around to come back down the other way to resume delivering, and I pulled back into traffic, and I was stopped waiting to make a left-hand turn with my blinker on to turn into a parking lot and then spin around and can resume delivery when I quickly glanced in my rearview mirror and all I saw was a flash of a car coming at me full speed from behind. Um, hit me doing about 50 miles an hour in a 40 mile an hour zone. 18 year old kid probably was texting or not paying attention. He admitted to it being his fault. Um, there were several witnesses because of the um, steady traffic on that road. Um, the impact of the um, rear ending pushed my vehicle forward. By the time it was finally stopped, it was about 150 feet forward. Um, all I remember was looking in the rear view, seeing the image of the car coming and then instantly being thrown forward. And my right shoe came off about halfway and I was trying to stop the vehicle and I kept my foot kept slipping and I kept hitting the gas instead of the brake. And I remember kind of doing this with the wheel, trying to control myself um, before finally I was able to get my foot on the brake and stop the vehicle. Um, how I kept that thing on two wheels and kept it from going into the oncoming traffic in the other lane, I don't know. Something was watching over me. Um, it was very scary, very scary. Um, I had my seatbelt on as the law requires and there's no airbags in those postal trucks um needless to say the mail was all over the truck i couldn't find my cell phone which was a big problem because i couldn't call my wife i couldn't call my work scary stuff um, i'm very thankful today to be very sore um, they did bring me in to get observed. I had to wear a neck collar for several hours before they took some. Uh, they took a CAT scan. They said I probably did suffer a mild concussion, and I've got some severe soreness on my upper back, middle back. My legs are like rubber. Uh, so overall, I'm very fortunate. I'll be out of work for a couple of days, uh, just recovering, taking it easy. Um, but some scary stuff. You can probably hear it in my voice. Um, still keep picturing it in my head. Um, vehicle was totaled. Apparently the frame got pushed up through the back, um, the cargo area of the vehicle. Uh, my boss said that when he came up on it, he thought I was going to be severely injured. So very, very lucky. Feeling very fortunate today. Um, Something was watching over me. Uh, some, some, Several people came up and approached me afterwards, asking me if I was okay, telling me not to move, trying to help me, trying to get in touch with my wife. My wife had gone to the beach, so she was in a bad cell area. A um, lot of things. Couldn't get a hold of my boss. Um, I couldn't find my phone, so I didn't have my cell phone numbers. Uh, so I couldn't get a hold of anybody. Um, but there were a lot of people there helping me. Uh, eventually, I remembered my boss's cell phone number, and they finally got a hold of him. Uh, I was able to get a hold of my wife, um, so it was a scary situation, to say the least. Uh, very scary, to say the least. Um, but I'm very fortunate today, so pardon the disheveled look. Um, took a muscle rail accident last night, uh, kind of put me in a little bit of a stupor last night, and slept pretty good through the night, uh, definitely feeling the soreness today. Um, the other vehicle was totaled as well. Um, I don't have pictures of it. I do have pictures of the vehicle, but it doesn't really, my boss said it doesn't do it justice. It, it doesn't show the impact of the, of the crash. So wear your seatbelts. The seatbelt probably saved my life. I probably would have gone through the dashboard 
not through the dashboard, but through the window. And if not, I would have been tossed around that truck and then who knows where the truck would have ended up. I probably would have ended up flipping it over um, or definitely going into oncoming traffic where it could have been a lot worse for me. Uh, so I'm feeling very blessed today. And sports cards, baseball cards, my Red Sox collection all takes a back seat to that today. But I don't want to make this all gloom and doom. So I'm going to show a few cards that I got in the mail yesterday. Um, make this real quick. 2021 opening day blue Xander Bogarts. 2020 update Ryan Weber rainbow foil. 2020 update Ryan Weber royal blue. 2020 update Mitch Moreland royal blue. Uh, 1953 and pardon the, the this is the card holder. Uh, it obviously gave me an old holder but the card is really good condition. It's a 53 Bowman Billy Goodman. Uh, that leaves me with just Johnny Lepon as the last card I need for that set. This one was cheap for the condition it's in. And then I picked up two one of one of Hanley Ramirez from the same seller. They're Topps Vault cards. Got them for five bucks a piece. Uh, this is a 2017 Allen and Ginter. As you can see, it's got the Topps Vault sticker on the back. And a 2017 Hanley Ramirez with the Topps Vault sticker on the back. So for five bucks a piece, I was definitely in on those. So that's all I got today. Um, just feeling very thankful and very blessed today. Um, I'm sure I'll get some very nice comments out of this, and I appreciate everybody in advance. Um, and just wear your safety belt. Don't text and drive, because I'm pretty confident that's what this... I'm just going to call it what it is. This 18-year-old punk was doing, and he could have killed me and really impacted my family. So don't text and drive. Wear your seatbelt. And thank you, mail carrier, because we are out there risking our lives to deliver your mail. So... That's all I got for today. Have a great day, everybody, and stay safe. Take care.